Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Elixir Anti-Loss Device and Key Finder. This retails on Amazon for under 20 bucks, which is pretty inexpensive, and it's a smart Bluetooth product that has two functions in one. It uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone or tablet, and after you download an application that's pre-included, it's for free, you can use it with iOS or Android, and after the Bluetooth connection between the Key Finder and your phone has been severed by a preset distance, for example, let's say, 20 meters, it's actually going to give you a notification in the form of a siren and a vibration that says that your phone or keychain has been lost and you should probably go and try to find it. The second function is as a selfie button, so there is a key here that you can tap on to take selfies and photographs with your friends and family in an easier manner. Taking a look at the presentation here, you have a pretty clean look. It's relatively lightweight and easy to take with you and pretty inexpensive. Bluetooth 4.0 is also very efficient, so it doesn't really drain a lot of power, which is good. In terms of specifications, it weighs roughly 8 grams. It's crafted out of a soft touch rubber material and it works with iOS version 7.0 and Android 4.3 and above. There's also a user manual included in the packaging and has a two-year warranty included. Taking a look at what's inside of the box here, you have access to the aforementioned user manual, which is going to be important because it tells you the application that you need to install on your phone first. Um, it's actually over here. This is the app interface and you have to search for the radar man. And you also have access to a keychain and finally just for the product itself. Taking a look at the design and the performance next of the anti-loss device and key finder, you can see it's crafted out of a rubber material, which makes it pretty easy to grip and hold in the hand. It feels like it's a solid product. It doesn't creak or cringe around the corners, which is good, and has a unique shape, which makes it easy to press. The center key is tactile and also features an LED indicator to tell you when you've actually pressed it. Uh, there's a simple lanyard strap on the very top and a speaker on the back that will sound the siren in case the connection between the phone and the product has been severed. Taking a look at the application next, I've downloaded on my phone. I'm going to also take a look at how the setup process works. The first thing that the app is going to do is scan for the actual product, and you can see it's actually found it right here. Taking a closer look at the user interface of the app here, there are a few hiccups that we experience. For example, if I launch perhaps a recording app and I wanted to go uh, record something, stop it, and then kind of play it back. I can't actually go back. Some of the keys are stuck here. You have to use the bottom of your Android controls to exit out of that program. So there are a few quirks you have to work out, and hopefully the manufacturer will fix in the future. Anyway, so we're going to go through some of the features next. Now, you have to open up the specific camera on the bottom there to take pictures with the selfie control knob. And if we play something next to the camera here, I can tap on the control there once to focus, and also it's going to take the picture after the focusing has been done. And you can take a look at your recent pictures on the very top as well. So it's pretty easy to use. You have some other settings they control, including the autofocus, um, and then recording video works as well. So it's a nice feature that definitely works. And after you're done, I can tap on the back key over there to exit out of that. The next control here, the recording, basically uses the uh, remote there to start a video recording and then to end it, and it uses the microphone integrated onto your phone. So you can use it to record maybe meetings or maybe uh, if you're in school for different notes and lectures, and it works pretty nice for that purpose. Next, we have a list that shows you, again, that view of uh, your devices if you have multiple ones. And if I press on the pen icon, it turns on the siren for the actual anti-loss alarm. It's going to continuously beep until I can find it, along with my wallet or keys that are attached to it. Tap on it once to disable the alarm and to stop it. Pressing on settings here brings up all the other things, like the flight mode and turning it on and off, turning Bluetooth on and off. Disturbing modes, ring modes, uh, creating the bark or some other things. You can also turn the vibration function on and off, so it's also going to sound as well as vibrate. You can also change the distance, such as if I have the phone disconnected from this product for 30 meters, something will happen. If I have it disconnected for 15 meters, something can happen, so it's customizable. In our test, this wasn't the most accurate thing in the world. If you kind of hold your hands against it, uh, sometimes the connection could be lost at a closer distance the one that you set, but that's kind of the way Bluetooth works in general. It's not as stable, uh, but overall it definitely is a nice concept and the fact that you can customize it is a good option. There. Next, the map application is basically the reverse of what you saw with the pen application. Instead of opening up the siren for the uh, actual remote, it's now going to create a siren for the phone. So if I've lost my phone, I can then kind of find where my phone or tablet was. So tapping on the key there once, the siren will sound on my phone. So you can then find it if you've lost your phone, maybe by your bed or in your living room. And tapping on that keychain once also brings up a map and it tells you the location of this product using the GPS onto the phone. Next, you have a style there just to change the theme of the application if you want to customize that, but that's basically the premise of the app. Uh, it works pretty well, I guess, as far as uh, taking selfies with the camera as well as the anti-loss alarm in general. I like the fact that it can work both ways. You can find the location of the tracker and also the location of your phone, and the incorporation of the map is an interesting twist, and the fact that you can purchase multiple ones and also sync it with the same application is a nice touch as well.
There are a few quirks, uh, a th few things, including some back keys and unresponsiveness that we occasionally encountered using the app that I think the manufacturer should work out in the future, but as far as hardware goes, we are pleased with the performance and the design of the unit. To learn more information about this product, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video review of the Alexar Anti-Loss Device and Key Finder.